来ました武装しているようですもちろんですわかりましたガッ I feel sick don't like this at all this porcelain bitch is the worst kind of news can you chill for two sacks We go in, we talk, we leave. That's it. Hanako sama ga omachi da. She emptied the place. Shit. Excellent. You have come. Let's step to it then. Before we discuss details, I feel I owe you an explanation. I must tell you why I changed my mind and wish to help. You weren't sure of anything. If you could trust me, if your Nobud killed your father, no? I knew. From the start. You knew? All the board members knew. Not one soul even slightly interested in the matter believed in the poisoning. Details were disparate, inconsistent. You knew, but didn't do a thing about it? Why? Suddenly sprout a conscience just yesterday? My father had flaws. I know this. I harbor no illusions about it. When a foe needed removal, my father ordered it without a thought to mercy. A way of being Yorinobu could not abide. But to my father, ends ever justified means. Saburo Arasaka has always valued just one thing. Do you know what it is? Ties that bind. Yes, family. I was to be its heart, to uphold life, ensure continuity, stability, never to oppose it. Huh. Guess Yorinobu's instructions were a little different? Yorinobu raised his hand against our father, but he is an Arasaka. He is family. I do not expect you to understand. I wish you merely to know I do not oppose my brother willingly. That it is difficult. Mm hmm. He's your brother. It's been hard, it'll be hard. Let's say I get that. But what changed your mind? We received a warning during the parade. Security protocols were violated. The first doubts sprouted then. They grew yet greater in your hideout when my brother's assault group arrived not to rescue, but to kill. Yorinobu was just plain willing to sacrifice you. My father was right about my brother. He never cared for us. I was brought up to be the heart of the family. It is time for the Arasakas to listen to their heart. It will bring justice. Did you bring Soul Killer? As we agreed, you Finger would. Finger on the trigger. Don't say a word. Of course I didn't bring Soul Killer. Afraid we don't know each other that well. You prefer to keep your guard up. We are here because I know how to save your life. I can lead you to Mikoshi. In an Mikoshi? Yet its access points do. And where? Here in Night City. Beneath Arasaka Tower. We ought to leave. Right now. Wanna leave? What gave you that idea? Quit button in so I can hear her out. This is gonna be a disaster. Sit. We have little time. Sure know how to prick up my ears. Go on. Talk. My brother. You catch a whiff of that? Smells like shit. Careful not to step in it. He must be made to take responsibility for his deeds. Sounds like you want to avenge dead old dad. How you plan to do that? Yorino, 
Yorinobu would... The perfect... I will get you into this... Testify. Help. Naturally. But think quickly. Yorinobu is on high alert after the parade. He may harbor suspicions. We're getting the fuck out of here. Are you well? Yeah, it's just, uh... You are bleeding. Fuck. It seems you are running out of time. Don't delay. Make your decision. No worries about that. You could use some air right now. Save your life. Pop some pseudo endo Scooch and let me get behind the wheel. I'll get us to fucking Makoshi. Uh huh. How exactly? Without that porcelain cunt's help, that's for damn sure. Don't stand a chance without help. Right about that. But that's why I'll bring Rogue. She's not rusted through just yet. Plus, she owes me. Maybe she'd have stuck her neck out for you a half a century ago. But now, I don't see it. I'll convince her. After all, we know a thing or two about ops like this. We'll blast our way into Sokka Tower, just like we did back in the day. Then find the way inside Makoshi. It's our only chance. What about Pan Am? She offered help. Listen up, V. Those guys are trailer tuggers. An assault on Arasaka's just not another convoy to Jack. You already tried this with amateurs. Both know how that ended. And you... tried it with pros. Didn't end any fucking better. You don't want those people involved. Their lives on the line. Possibly on your conscience. Our one hope is sitting at the afterlife right now and her name is Rogue. What's your scheme? This is my body. I'm with you. Not this time. <laughs> Johnny! Jesus, look at you. Can't even... Great, you're checking out again? when you arrived, so I had to dose you with beta haloperidol. But light oversensitivity is a good sign. Means your optic nerves aren't damaged. How... How'd I get here? Dragged yourself here, beat to hell and back. You missed the hell of a fright. Then you shoved my patient at the time off the table and demanded you be treated immediately. Talamant was your guardian angel. Huh? I, uh... wasn't completely myself. Yeah, I know. And that's a bit worrying. So, <clears throat> how bad we talking? That bad, huh? All right. That should be a little better. Try sitting up carefully. Okay, but don't expect a miracle. <sighs> so slowly. <sighs> uh, 
Another victory for the history books. If you got something to say, Vic, just say it. How much longer is this going to go on? You tell me. Looking at you, not long at all. Next attack, you won't be able to crawl back here. You'll flatline in some back alley. This is your last chance to take matters into your own hands, understand? Yeah, I know. Thoughts on where to start? Jesus, again. Do I have to spell it out? It's in your hands, not mine, and not those of that thing in your head. Now, see that setup over there? Yeah? What about it? You'll find a last dose of pseudo endo in there. A gift from Misty. Want to give in to the voices in your head? Go ahead. Take a puff. Go silent. Get out. Or find another way. End things on your own terms. Got a little present for me over there, too. Blockers. Manage to walk those few yards to the table. The rest will be up to you, and you alone. You heard him. We've got one last chance. I'm taking the wheel. Endotrizine, Rogue Sokka Tower. Only way this is gonna work. Give it a fucking rest, Johnny. It's my decision. And I gotta think about it. Need to stretch your noodle? Fine. Fine. Just not, Just not in this basement. V, Christ, you're talking out loud. Uh, out loud? What? Just go fix this thing. <laughs> I think I can do it. Whatever you decide, let's make sure to get out of here first. Hey V, I heard. Well, your thoughts? Shouldn't have had to. Sorry about that. No need to be. I know what's going on. And I know it won't be easy for either of you. If you don't want to decide here, I know a much better place. Sure, lead the way. Why is this spot special? I took Jackie there once. It's not far. Jackie? What, what's he got to do with any of this? You'll see. Come on. Top floor. He had the same glum face. Who, oh, Jack? This is it, Chica. I'm done for. Doesn't sound like the Jackie I knew. That was a long time ago. His mom had just found out he'd signed up with the Valentinos. Trust me. Senora Wells on one shoulder, your gang Chumbas on the other. No choice can ever seem right. Mm hmm Life wasn't easy for my Jackie, but... He found the courage to bet on himself. After. I brought him here. Ah, oh, that's more like it. Air. See that? Come here when I need to get away. Be alone with my thoughts. She's on to something. Ought to sit, mull through some shit yourself. Thanks, Misty. You were right. Choice spot. So what? What did Jackie decide up here? Oh, you know. Gonna be a legend in this city. 
And I'm gonna leave you alone now. Take your time. Fucking scared me, know that? Thought you were on your way out. No, still here. For now. You know, should call anyone you want to say goodbye to. Worst case scenario. That what you expect? No. But whatever you decide, risk's gonna be high. If things don't go our way, just fucking do it. Anyone you gotta talk to, now's the time. Pills can wait. Judy. Yeah. Even I've grown to like her. She ought to know that. Hey, Judy. Oh, hey, B. What's cracking? Time we, uh, went swimming. Hmm? A lot of fun, wasn't it? What you said then, about what you sensed in me. Death. High time I faced it. Can't be sure it'll work, but I gotta try. Listen, whatever it is you're gonna try, just be careful, okay? I'm here waiting. Thanks. Do my best. <sighs> okay. What's good you called? Wish I'd have had the chance to. Come a long way to get here, haven't we? Just think. It all started in a fucking landfill. Mm -hmm. Then you tried to kill me. See exactly what I mean. Trying to save your sorry hide now. You can let me do that. Or you can try Pan Am and her tarmac rats. But then their lives will weigh heavy on your soul. Or you take Arasaka's deal, but then you'll have your own soul on your conscience. Try to ask Pan Am for help. You absolutely sure? No going back on this, you know. <sighs> Gonna try this with Pan Am. <sighs> We're a lot alike. Trust her more than any of your iron for hire chumbas. Have it your way. Could be my last ride, this. If it don't work out. Just want to be there for it. Aware. See you inside, Makoshi. Johnny? Hey, just me now. Hey, Pan Am. Do you know what time it is? I know, but need your help. You owe me a favor. What's so damn urgent I couldn't wait until morning? Need a way into our socket tower, now. Sorry, what? I'm serious. Whole thing with Johnny, I don't do something soon, I'm done. Gone. Slow down. First, why our socket tower? The tech. Underneath that tower, they got an access point to... Well, odd as it sounds, a prison of souls. A prison of souls? <sighs> Knew this might not fly over the hollow. Wakoshi, that's its name. Only place Johnny and I can disentangle for good. It's my last chance. So, again, just to be clear... You've called me at High Moon to ask me to help you break into Arasaka Tower, or you'll die. About the gist of it, yeah. Okay. W okay. Where are you? Vic's clinic. The Ripper? Right. I know where it is. Can you hold off on dying for a bit? Give it a shot, sure. Good. Don't go anywhere. I'm coming to get you.
Is that you, V? Or... Like Vic said, taking matters into my own hands. So, what now? Waiting for my driver. Come inside. We'll wait together. Who do we have here, huh? That's Mr. Brightman. We found the poor guy in the trash behind the clinic. I think he misses Jackie. Get alone. Since you have to wait, mind if I give you a reading? Sure, why not? Some believe uncertainty is an evil that should be dispelled through divination. Others claim it's change that is evil. But that isn't true either. Every minute of every day, we each become someone new. We shouldn't fear change itself, but only who we might change into. Knowing one's path is most important. I devised this layout especially for you and Johnny. Your future is his future, and vice versa. Okay, I'm ready. We'll start with you, V. The Fool. <laughs> what a surprise. Let's dig deeper to find its meaning here. The Fool symbolizes the start of a journey, the announcement of something new. It's the inner child. Curious of the world, but also naive and reckless. <laughs> Sounds a lot like the V I first met. The Magician. A person of great talent and charisma. A leader. Sounds like Johnny. The card is reversed. That can mean a tendency toward addiction, mental instability. Oh, okay, definitely Johnny. He has one great disturbance. The final cards are about your futures. The lovers. <laughs> Something that doesn't give me the chills, finally. Balance, friendship, love. Though it can also mean difficult choices ahead. Ain't that the truth. Okay, and Johnny's? The moon. Well, that doesn't sound too bad, right? I don't know, V. The moon is mystery. Hmm. I think that's for you. Yep. No mistaking that ride ever. Hey. Man, it's good to see your face. Jesus, you really do look terrible. And I feel worse. Then we had best not waste any time. We have a long road ahead of us. Come on. Everybody's waiting at camp. Look out for yourself, V. You too, Misty. And thanks for everything. Welcome back to the living. You feeling okay? What happened? You passed out on the way. We tried shaking you awake, to no avail. Sure does seem like your condition might be getting worse, V. Pan Am asked me to keep an eagle eye on you. Where'd she go? She's off debating Saul. You need help, that's clear. They sat right down to figure out how we might do that. Come on, I'll take you to see him. So, V, I heard talk that there's a war coming. Afraid I don't got a choice, Mitch. Looks like we don't have one, neither. The whole clan knows we set out tomorrow. They know why, what our aim is. Look around, V. War-tested <laughs> veterans are a fistful at most. The rest mostly raid rinky-dig convoys and salvage scrap. So for now, they only know as much as they need to know. The aim is the to help is you out. Solved. Do not go muddying the waters. Not now. We're sending this clan to its grave. Fuck, you think I don't know that? 
And yet you seem to think you can change something by chewing me out like you usually do. V. Finally. How's your health? I did some sleep, is all. I heard you were already cooking up a plan. We still have details to iron out. But we know the who, where, and how. Have a look for yourself. A few strategies we sussed out. But only one grants us a decent shot at penetrating Arasaka Tower. We'll dig a tunnel. So you want a tunnel into Arasaka Tower? I know how it sounds. But we'd be plumb fools not to take advantage. I see Night Corps building a new maglev line in the area. Granted, it's guarded by Militech, but they're nothing we can't handle. Once we're in that tunnel, it's just half a mile to the substratum levels of Arasaka Tower. They're using one of Night Corps cirques. We would only need a few minutes to dig that distance. Not bad, wouldn't you say? Once we're in, we'll have to improvise. Guards, security measures, the fastest way into Mikoshi. We'll take things as they come and hope for the best. V, any thoughts? Sounds doable, in theory, to me. No competing ideas? Then let's get to prepping. We'll need bucket loads more information. It's the only way to determine if this plan holds It'll water. It'll be full of holes no matter what we turn up, Saul. I can tell you that already. But what's the alternative? To call off the assault? To let her uh, die? Pan Am is right. We have to accept these risks come what may. That much we owe you. I'll talk to our brothers and sisters. Get a drone buzzing over that site. And I'll check with Mitch. I think I know how to even the odds against Militech. Come find us later. I'll leave you in Saul's hands now. Just no making decisions without me. Is there anything else you need? I need a decent net connection. Someone I know can help us get into Mikoshi. Who might that be? Alt. She... It's... an AI from out past the Black Are wall. you fully present up there? Why in hell would an AI help us break into Mikoshi? Because I'll ask it to. Nicely. Fuck me, V. You know what? Fine. We're up to our balls and dung anyway. Might as well go deeper. Find Dakota. She'll get you geared up. No questions asked. Thanks, Saul. Thank me once we get out of Mikoshi alive and in one piece. Prep coming along all right? <laughs> you call this prep? I'd call it a damn improvisation. But that's just Can me. Can it, Bobby? Lo and behold. Isn't this... In theory, we fitted an afterburner and a multi-RPG launcher up top. We also scooped out about 60% of its total mass. Beautiful, isn't she? You'll take the wheel with Pan Am riding shotgun. Afterburner, standard nitro or military grade? Standard couldn't move this baby an inch. So nitrous oxide injection into military hardware? I heard Raffins do the same thing with their armored pickups for going after convoys. Except it isn't exactly stable. You'd think you plain couldn't jazz up a panzer that way, huh? When we unleash this beast tomorrow, you'll see. Since tomorrow's a big day already, how about we take it for a spin now? Wanna get a feel for her over the terrain? Sure thing. Maybe after sundown, though. We still have a few loose screws to tighten. That's putting it mildly. Will you quit being such a sourpuss? We'll have her ready in time. Firepower up top. Uh, what is it? A rapid-fire 70-millimeter multiple rocket launcher coupled with an onboard MMI you can sync to via personal link. Where'd you get all this stuff? Teddy salvaged it from a scrapyard. The launcher itself was fine. The problem was no ammunition. As luck would have it, Dakota procured some. Don't ask me how. Talk later then, I guess. Hey, Dakota. Shamai, sister of the backers. What is it you need? Need a strong rig for a little jaunt on the net. Okay, get in. I spilled tub.
Carol, here to help Dakota? Evidently, I'm here to help you today. You good to go? Can't say how long this is gonna take. Whatever happens, stay cool, all right? Even if you look like you're about to flatline? All right, time to move. Follow the vector, sister. Hello, all. You come alone. Johnny is currently indisposed. Currently. He is buried deeper. You treat him like an unwanted passenger. A backseat dreamer of a world not his own. Seemed to me, you didn't care a lick about Johnny. That he ceased to exist for you, even. If he did not exist, you and I would have nothing to discuss. Would you rather just talk to him? Discussion with any isolated construct is pointless. I can simply read it like any other segment of code. The sole human factor here is you. Yeah, well, said human factor's rapidly running out of time. You truly believe time to be your greatest concern. You exist or you do not exist. Two states of being separated by death. Matter of perspective. Think what you will, but it seems to me I rose from the dead. Only question is, what now? You believe you cheated death. It is death that has cheated you. You are in between. This you will come to understand in Mikoshi. Or rather you. You should already have a notion. You encountered entities from the other side. Not so? What should I expect then, in Mikoshi? A boundary to cross. In all likelihood, the sole moment of your life when you feel the true weight of your existence. A burden for which you cannot prepare. I'll make it through. While Mikoshi will not. Constructs imprisoned there. Gonna set them free. They will be integrated with me. Wasting time talking. Let's just do this. There. I sent a program to your Netrunner shard. Once inside Mikoshi, use it. It opens a secure connection. Should I look for a specific access point? Can already tell you ice all the way to Tokyo will be backing every single one. Some need but a barely cracked door to enter. Use the shard in Mikoshi. Leave the security to me. Until then. We got her back. Carol, the shard! Relax, child. You barely jacked in when your temperature went skyward to almost 100. The tech started acting as if infected. No. Stranger. Spookier. What happened here? You melted half my tech. That's what happened. Neural activity spiked sharply. Your frontal lobe was seconds away from flowing out your ears, babe. I could just as well have popped a bullet in your head. Are you sure you're all right? PG. Good. Real good. The shard. Wrote some soft I need to one of the shards. Please. We're surrounded by ice. Even if something punched through, my controllers would have... Holy... Get it away from me. Thanks, Dakota. Don't thank me. Find Saul. He came around looking for you. On my way. So, you wanted a word? Hop up here. Well, what's with the gathering? Something off? It's nothing about the raid. Hop on and you'll find out. We going somewhere? All right, V. It's a simple matter. We, all of us standing here, owe you. And it's a great debt. Speak for yourself, Saw. So. But in spite of that, you're still an outsider. A mercenary from Night City. What might as well be another world. Hey, ask Pan Am. She knows. So it's about time we fix that. A downright injustice it is. It needs and fixing. You're gonna be an Aldecaldo. Which means this family will go to hell and back for you. 
Ready, kid? I... So... You all sure about this? Does this look like one big jest? Look, I... I know what this means. I used to wear clan colors, too. But to be in Aldecaldo... I don't know... Just answer the question. Are you ready? Do your worst. You're one of us now, V. You're an Aldecaldo, damn it! Great to Thanks have for you everything, with us, v. v, and don't worry. We'll get you into that Makoshi. Isn't that the Welcome way of it? Welcome to the family. A warm welcome for our newest Aldecaldo! I don't know what to say. It's about time you didn't. No, like... I really don't... ...never expected this. Thank you. Don't worry. It's but a formality. You've been a de facto member of this family for a while now. You saved my rumpus, and as Bobby tells it, Mitch is too. I won't even mention Pan Am. Go to hell. Saul's right, though. I mean, let's face it, V. My life was in a million pieces. You broke it into a million more. But sometimes it's only then that you can piece it together again. All right, fam, listen up. Today we celebrate, but tomorrow we're shaping up to be a hell of a day. Do whatever needs doing. Then get some rest. A raid is a raid. Calls for our drink, this is still your night. We'll some basketball and you. found glory. Could have given me a heads up about this. And ruined all the fun? Are you kidding? Are you all right? Yeah. yeah. It's nothing. Don't worry about it. And how's the jacket? Not too tight? <sighs> Miss this, you know? The camaraderie. I know. I saw it in your heart the first time we met. Probably because I was missing it too. In Night City, you're alone, even in a crowd. But here, it feels like I'm part of something important. So you are where you need to be. Thanks, Pinna. If you want to talk, I'll be up there. What's this? A yard sale of some sort? I might this have. Engine. You have to take look around. Want. And so maybe I'll take two more forty-fives. See, and Dakota time. seems to be feeling generous Worthy today. gesture. Dramatic, even. Actually, pragmatic. I'm giving away my stock to you so you survive tomorrow's mad hell and come back to me. Some folks used to laugh at them Europeans. All them countries, tongues, cultures on top of each other. I think we'll pull through tomorrow. I know these people. Some better than myself. The focus of mind, sense of purpose, calm before the storm. They'll give it their all. <laughs> Bet they will. Good night, Saul. Wait. Hmm? I feel I need to make one thing clear. You've done a lot for this clan, and for me, more than anyone ever has. But the family comes first. Saul. Let me finish. I also know there's just one thing that could break it up at this point. If Pan Am and me... If we went our separate ways, the Aldecaldos would not survive that split were it to occur again. Do you understand what I'm trying to tell you? You're helping, because you got no choice. Want the clan to think you and Pan Am are acting as one. In other words, you're playing politics. It isn't that simple. V, I'll send these people to their deaths tomorrow. So I have to know I'm not doing it just for you, me, or Pan Am. But for the good of the clan. I get it. You'll understand eventually. That jacket wasn't for nothing. How about us, Saul? We good? It's an important day tomorrow. Get some rest. Over here, V. Take a seat. We have this little ritual we engage in. What's this ritual about? A few cold ones ahead of a raid. Ah, <laughs> that kind. But this isn't your average brew. It's one of the last bottles from our very first run. We kept a few crates for good luck. What was it someone said then? Shit, can't remember who. Someone said, when we finish them all, the Aldecado's luck will run out. Ah, superstitious bullcrap is your hobby. <laughs> Says the brother whose hand is all shaky when he pops one open. I'll take a swig. Oh well, 
Not bad. To tomorrow. To goddamn safe returns. To Saul and Pan Am. Because if they don't kiss and make up, everything's liable to go tits up. Bob, you're just always the optimist, ain't you? Fee, you must know where they stand. Do you? Talk to them. They buried the hatchet. Buried the hatchet? Well, I'm really glad they've come to agree on sending us on a suicide mission. Be cool now, Bobby. There's nothing personal, V. I'm just saying how things are. I want to give Saul a fair chance here. Planned everything as best he could. He should start planning his own retirement. Would you want to take his place? <laughs> Not in a thousand years. So I thought. Let's focus on tomorrow. We can talk politics once the dust settled. I'm in. All right, best be going. See you tomorrow. Just wait you till I'm You fellas really with think we'll find anything? That clunker of yours won't scare anybody. Not even if you spike the rims. Benedict, right? V. Hey, how's things? Everything going all right? It's going. Yourself? Dakota told me to sit tight for a while longer. Militech's still sniffing, just have to wait it out. Starting to get itchy hands, though, you know? Best not fuck with Dakota. <laughs> That's good advice. And look out for yourself. Don't tell her this might be the end. You outside of your head? I had it just a second ago, I swear. <coughs> you probably just caught CB chatter from some rap. You send that. Militech broadcasts on modular frequency. And if I do latch onto their signal, do you know where I saw <laughs> Still can't quite wrap my head around it. Hardly anyone ever does. The day you get your jacket is a day you never forget. So, time for a ride? Yeah. I'm game. Hop in. Fire up. I've got green across the board. Good sign. Where are we headed? Bobby said there's a scrapyard east of camp. Perfect spot for a little target practice. <laughs> now let's check Bobby's little find. Punch it, V. Does it seem like she's tending to the left? Uh, fixable, you think? Just keep shooting at those rust buckets. I'll recalibrate the targeting on the go. Feels better, doesn't it? Seems so. Last another, just to be sure. Yep, beautiful. All right, that's probably good. Let's head back. I'll have to check before tomorrow if her guts are tight and firm. Something just don't sound right to my ear. Are we heading back? I'll take her now. I get picky about parking. You nervous about tomorrow? It's not a matter of nerves. Not anymore. Don't you want one? <sighs> Why the hell not? Back during the war, before we were first deployed, we were trained to keep stress in check. Do you want to know how? How? They gave us chem cocktails. Supplements, boosters, God knows what else. They shot them into our veins. Our biomons went wild, but only for a second before stabilizing, and boy, did we stabilize. 
After a dozen sessions, something clicks in your brain. Neural pathways get rewired. The part of you that generates fear is zapped into oblivion. So, not afraid of anything at this point? If only it was that simple. I'm not concerned about tomorrow. Raids like that are second nature. It's what's going on in the camp. Eh, no matter. I'm talking silly now. I get it. Don't want to talk about it. No pressure. Let's just make sure everyone does what they're supposed to do tomorrow. Sounds good. You get some rest. I'll try tweaking that targeting. See you at sunup. Take care. Now this is where you escape when you need to think. I never escape. Any for your thoughts? I have none. I mean, I don't even know. I'm so tense I barely caught a wink last night. It's likely to be the same tonight. What's eating you? Well, let's see. Tomorrow I'll lead my whole clan to near certain death. As if that's not enough, Saul is suddenly concurring with everything I say. And I don't even know if that's good or bad. Fuck. People are doubting us. I can feel it. But they still believe if it all goes to shit, Pan Am will be there for them. Because who else, right? You feel responsible for them. Who in their right mind wouldn't? It's not the responsibility I'm worried about. I'm just looking at this with a cool head. Saul has made all the wrong decisions to be a little more like me. But only I know what I'm good at and at what I stink. I'm not a miracle worker, V. I'm scared to the bone something will go wrong. That everyone will... Sorry to have dragged you into this. Sorry. V, stop. Accept me into your family. And how do I repay you? By taking you on an excursion through hell. It isn't fair of me, Pan Am. It wasn't fair from the start. You know what's not fair? That you want me to massage your bruised conscience. Well, I won't do it. We're all in this together. <sighs> You're right. V? Yeah? Are you not afraid to die? Try my damnedest not to think about it. So do I. But the harder I try, the worse it gets. Any for your thoughts? I'm thinking about the first night I spent up here. I've been on the road. I was on my way back and wanted to clear my head before hitting camp. Now uh, before another likely shouting match with Saul. It was completely dark. Empty. Not a star in the sky. All I heard was the wind and a few engines in the distance. And I sat here waiting for the world to fall away. For my mind's RPM to drop to zero. Did it? No. I realized that night it wouldn't happen again. That my mind would always be on the road. Even while I was sitting, freezing on a cliff. Time to head back, maybe? No. Let's sit here a while longer. This is doing me good. More than I thought. <laughs> 